three Grenadians honored by the Queen for service to the country. We'll have details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Thursday, January 9th, 2020, I am Rakesha St. Louis. Three Grenadians were rewarded for their years of service and contribution to the development of education, culture, business, and the community on Thursday. Mrs. Clarice Charles, Grenada's ambassador to the Republic of Cuba, was invested as a commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire for her service to education, trade unionism, and foreign affairs. Mrs. Sylvia Nayak, a business entrepreneur for over 50 years, was invested as a member of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire. And Mr. Rafael Johnson, educator, Calypsonian and cultural icon, was invested the British Empire Medal for his service to culture. The medals were presented by the Queen's representative, Governor General, Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade, during an investiture ceremony. I thank you for everything you have done for our country. I share the pride and joy of your friends and family as you are honored here today. I encourage you to wear your insignia and use the letters that signify the award for what they are, badges of honor that will serve as a source of inspiration for those who seek to emulate you. The awardees were all humbled to receive the awards. They gave the assurance that their service contributions will continue. I wasn't looking forward for it. I went ahead singing Calypso, doing things, not knowing that there was somebody there watching. Apparently, sometimes you get a feeling that nobody's appreciating what you do. So I'm happy that somebody took notice that I was making a contribution to the society, to Grenada and all. So that's why I am ex exceptionally pleased because I didn't realize that I had so much an impact on, on people. I accept the award with gratitude and humility because I know that there are lots of persons who might have done more and might never get an award in their lifetime. I accept it on behalf of all of them. And I pray to God that I can do much more to help my society, my country. And I ask others to do the same. I thank all those who have helped me along the way with the same gratitude and humility. They have taught me what to be, what not to be. And on this road of life, you learn from others and you are a better person based on the lives of others. I feel hum I'm humbled and honored to receive that um, medal today. Um, when I do things, I don't look for reward. Eh? I always do things and maybe reward will come. So I would accept it. But from since I was a young girl, I always make contribution. I always look for the persons in need to help wherever I could help, in schools, in homes, wherever. Lots of lots of trophies that I have home. From schools, from the homes, a lot of thank you letters for things that I've been doing for them over the years. Persons from the Americas that I host in Grenada, I get thank you letters from them. And the um, person that I raise funds for, like during the hurricane season in Dominica, I raise funds and send cash donation. Parliamentary Representative for St. Andrew Northwest, Honorable Delma Thomas, said she's delighted that Mrs. Nayak received her medal while she can still enjoy the fruits of her service and labor. She highlighted some of the work done by Mrs. Nayak. I, I am proud of the contribution she has made not only to St. Andrews Northwest, but maybe to Grenada as a businesswoman and a community person. Ms. Nayak has given human service to the community of Paraclet and by extension St. Andrews and Grenada. So apart from all that you, you heard here this morning, after the Ivan, Ms. Nayak also gave her business place for the, to house the Paraclet government school. And even now she continues to give to the community, she continued to work hard on the Cardona Home for the Age. So she continued to work to improve the life of the people of St. Andrews. And so I am proud and I'm happy that while she's alive, she can get her flowers and that award is being given to her today. Member of Parliament for the Tongue of St. George, Honorable Peter David, who is presently out of state on government duties, expressed sadness on the destruction by fire 
of a number of businesses on Grenville Street, St. George's, on Thursday. Yeah, I just want to express my deep sadness on the occurrence of the fines in George's. You know, there are many businesses were affected, persons were affected, homes were affected. And as a, a, a as the MP for the town of St. George, I want to assure everyone affected that we will do everything we can to assist in, in, in relieving them of, of, of the pressures uh, in any way that we, we can. But I do want to express my personal uh, regrets over the, the events, as, as many of the persons there are personal friends of mine, and uh, I, I want to let them know that we, we are with them in this difficult time and we'll do everything we can to, to help them and in any way to relieve any of the pressures that will come on them at this time. That was Parliamentary Representative for the Town of St. George, Honorable Peter David. Continuing with the news, plans for the construction of a neonatal intensive care unit at the General Hospital has been approved. Minister for Health and Social Security Honorable Nicholas Steele on Tuesday announced that work will commence in January 2020. The unit accommodates advanced technologies to care for newborn babies who need special care and attention. We have had the plans approved, working in conjunction with Pan American Health Organization um, and the Ministry of Works here. I will be awarding the contract within the next week or two to, indiv to an individual. Uh, I expect that work to take maybe a month or two. It is not that significant. But as a result, when we are complete, we will have, based on a ratio of for population and births, uh, one of the most uh, 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 or the best NICU unit within the OECS, one of the best NICU units within the OECS. He expressed that the PAHO certification will be very crucial for the development of the health sector and is grateful for all those who are on board. In terms of the numbers, in fact, I found it was a bit large, but I am yielding to them. It is better for us to have uh, more than we need than less than we need, with, especially when it comes to neonatal intensive care there. So I want to thank the individuals who have participated in this, Pan American Health Organization, Pediatric Ward, uh, and, and General Hospital Administration for this. This is the National Report. We'll have more news after the break. It's Cricket Again, West Indies versus Ireland, Grenada National Stadium, January 12th and January 15th. First, the Colonial Medical Insurance. Third, One Day International, January 12th, starting at 9 a.m. Then on January 15th, the first Sandals T20, starting time 1 p.m. Admission on both days, member stand, $25 U.S. or $67 E.C. The Junior Murray Raw Lewis stand, $15 U.S., $40 E.C. Horsey stand, $5.50 U.S., $15. EC. Senior citizens 60 and over get some free tickets while stocks last. Children 12 and under get a free ticket with the purchase of an adult ticket. Organize your posse, get your tickets now and come support your team. January 12th and 15th. Welcome back. Education Minister Honorable Emmeline Pear recently spoke about implementing a value-based education program in schools to ensure the continued transmission of important societal values in Grenada. As it relates to religious education in school, um, I think the emphasis is more about how do we encourage spiritual values and how do we ensure that our children are grounded sufficiently that you're teaching them not just to pass exams, but you're teaching them for life, values that they can take with them throughout their lives. And that would be a focus in 2020. We want to make sure that we teach our children sufficiently the values that many of us grew up with and were told are so important to be good citizens. We want to place more emphasis there. And that is why we will be introducing in 2020 our values-based education program. Pastor Devon Rache, who is the chair of the value-based education program, explained more about the program. Last year, the Ministry of Education engaged with a number of religious leaders in Grenada, pastors and um, other religious leaders regarding the implementation of values-based education. And out of that meeting, a uh, working committee 
was established to develop recommendations to the ministry regarding values-based education. And I was asked to chair the working committee. We have done a lot of work um, over the, the last several months on this. We did a number of engagements in terms of looking at what have been done before in the area of values-based education, in terms of analyzing what is happening currently within our school system. This program will seek to identify those values that we share in our society and promote these type of values. We have seen over um, the last Last several years, uh, the disappearance of some of the traditional values um, or respect for for adults, for example, and mutual respect for each other. We are speaking about building a culture, and this is true to form in what we have seen over the years from the Ministry of Education and holistically from the government of Grenada. Um, in the past, the government has announced the ban on the sale of alcohol at school function, which is in line with this that we are. We have to be very consistent in the messaging that we are sending. All of our ministers of religion um, have been supporting this totally. The committee that has been actively involved in this process comprises mainly ministers of religion and that too has gotten a lot of positive feedback and support and we look forward for the actual rollout in um, 2020. That story just ended the national report for today, Thursday, January 9th. Let's recap the top story. Three Grenadians honored by the Queen for service to the country. On behalf of the entire news team here at the Government Information Service, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Until next time.